Beer. Wine. Liquor. What do all these beverages have in common? You guessed it, they all contain alcohol. But what is alcohol? And why is everyone telling you not to drink it? Alcohol is a chemical compound, and it's pretty powerful stuff. It's sometimes called ethanol. As ethanol, it's used to fuel cars, planes, and rockets. When consumed, alcohol goes into your stomach and then soaks into your blood. And when it gets to the liver, it's seen as a poison. Your liver tries to get it out of your blood, but it can only work so fast. The alcohol that is not broken down by your liver keeps flowing through your blood to all your organs and makes its way into the brain. When alcohol hits the brain, it begins to block chemical signals between your brain cells. This causes slowed reflexes, blurred vision, slurred speech, and impulsive behavior. In other words, it gets you drunk. And the more you drink, the drunker you get. And the drunker you get, the harder it is to make good decisions. That's why it's so dangerous to drive a car if you've been drinking and really dumb to get in a car with someone who has. Also, it's illegal. If you're caught, you can get arrested. You can lose your driver's license. You can get hit with expensive fines. A judge could issue you mandatory community service or incarcerate you. But even if you don't get caught drinking underage or driving under the influence, alcohol is extremely harmful to a young and forming brain. The human brain is still developing well into your early 20s. And while it's developing, it's a bit like wet cement. It doesn't take much to damage it, and the damage can be permanent. There are two parts of the underage brain that are hit especially hard by alcohol, the hippocampus and the frontal lobe. The hippocampus helps us learn and create memories. Alcohol damages the hippocampus, and studies have shown that underage drinking can shrink the hippocampus by 10%, making it harder to learn and harder to create memories. The frontal lobe controls our ability to plan, make decisions, control impulses, and use language. Adolescents who drink heavily have smaller frontal lobes than those who don't. Alcohol can cause serious problems for your brain and your body later in life, but it's also extremely dangerous right now. Remember the liver? It works hard to remove toxins from your blood. It can remove about one serving of alcohol from your blood per hour. But if you drink several servings in an hour, the alcohol will keep building up in your blood. When someone consumes a large volume of alcohol in a small amount of time, or intentionally drinks more alcohol than the liver can remove, this is called binge drinking, and it's extremely dangerous. Let's put this into perspective. You have a little over a gallon of blood in your body. To be considered drunk, you only need one one thousandth of your blood to be made of alcohol. That's about a teaspoon's worth of your blood. Two teaspoons is enough to cause a blackout where your body and brain keep functioning, but your brain, specifically the hippocampus, doesn't record any memories. Three or four teaspoons is enough to cause alcohol poisoning. Signs of alcohol poisoning include vomiting, seizures, and dangerously low body temperature, as your body loses its ability to regulate simple functions. If you get to that stage, it's likely to kill you. So if underage drinking can get you arrested, cause brain damage, and can literally kill you, why do almost 30% of people under age 15 try alcohol? One simple answer is because their friends do. Everyone likes to fit in and feel like part of a group. That's totally normal, but that doesn't mean you should risk your health and your future. It's okay to say no if your friend offers you alcohol. It's okay to tell them you're gonna wait till you're older. In fact, if you say no, then you can help others your age have the courage to say no too. And it feels great to know that you're not influencing others to harm themselves. Our advice, wait until you're 21. After all, you only get one brain. So in the meantime, 
stay off the wet cement. 